I'm really happy to see you all. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. As we take a closer look at everything around us, from the smallest and simplest to the most complex human invention, and observe the timeline of their production, we can see that everything around us was created twice. Now before this projector, all the seats that you're sitting in were physically created, they were mentally formed in human brains in a form of an electrical pulse. Now this pulse is what we call a thought. You and I are in possession of powerful brain that produces thousands of uh, thoughts every day. What thoughts we choose to nurture and act upon and what thoughts we choose to throw away contributes in shaping up our life. And if we are not intentional in choosing our thoughts and monitoring them, then our brain starts working in an autopilot mode, which results in us losing control of our life. Ladies and gentlemen, you and I have an infinite potential. And since everything around us, the origin of all human creations, started with a thought in our brain, then I will tell you that the origin of the life that you want to live starts as a thought in your brain. And that is called vision. The best definition I've ever heard for the word vision is a highly detailed mental image of a preferable future. Now, I'm sure you have come across people that ask you something like, what are your goals? I used to do that a lot until I realized that I was not helping the people. In fact, it became very clear to me that I was placing roadblocks on their way. Because goals that are not driven by vision are just sidetrack activities. There was an experiment that was made by an entomologist on processionary caterpillars. These caterpillars are, got their name because they followed their leader in procession to find food. So the entomologist placed the caterpillars on the outer lining of a flower pot and created a circle. So immediately, each caterpillar started following the caterpillar that's in front of it in an infinite loop. And then, he placed their favorite food in the middle of the pot, which was only six inches away from the caterpillars. 24 hours later, they were still following each other in an infinite loop. 48 hours later, still in that infinite loop, and in three days' time, some of the caterpillars died from starvation. Now, it is obvious that these caterpillars were sidetracked by secondary activities. And as soon as some of the caterpillars died and the infinite loop was broken, the rest of the caterpillars changed their course to find their favorite food, which was just six inches away. At once, I used to be very similar to these caterpillars. Without a vision, I had, I was sidetracked with a secondary goal of making money. And that has resulted in me going to jobs that I don't like. Doing things for people that I don't like. And it was really frustrating to a point that I developed a wish. I wish I could have a universal remote control that at the beginning of every week I could fast forward. And at the beginning of every weekend, I could pause so that work never comes again. So I was in this infinite loop for three years until I had a conversation with a very close manager of mine. He called me into his office and he said, Adam, you are doing a wonderful job. Your performance is very high. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. But you know what your problem is? Your problem is 
that everything that you're doing, not only inside the work, I know you outside work, everything that you're doing, you're doing it for the sake of money. Of course, money, isn't it the most important thing? I mean, once I get my money, I can do whatever I want, right? No, 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 no. Making money is a process. And unless you are in love with that process, you will never be satisfied with the money that you make. And as soon as he said that, he pulled out a paper from his drawer, and it was a maze puzzle, where there were eight beginning points and one ending point. And he handed it to me and asked me to solve it. I had no idea where this was taking me. So I took the paper and I started making lucky kisses. Oh, this one will take me to the end. And I started drawing until I fell on a dead end. That was frustrating because I have to start again right now. So after almost I tried all the, uh, the beginnings, I found the correct path, the correct track to go towards the end. And then I handed it to him and he looked at me with a smile and he said, Wow, it took you very long to solve this simple uh, puzzle. So, you know, wouldn't it be easier if you just started from the end and just drew a path toward the beginning? In that way, only one try will make you reach your destination. Now since vision is a highly detailed mental image of a preferable future, your preferable future, I wonder whether having the full vision would be the starting point. I mean that fully detailed, fully grown vision, much like an apple tree that is a reality when it was just inside that little seed. Because the answer to achieving anything of significance, anything of significance, is being that fully grown tree before even the seed is planted. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as, it, as humans, our potential is infinite. Now, let's take Jeremy, let's travel through time to find where our starting point is. So I want you to all go with me to the future, 10 years from now, which is 2026. Look at the world around you. The world is 10 years different. Your life situation is 10 years different. Your spouse, your siblings are 10 years different. And look back into the time in 2016 when you were sitting right there on those chairs thinking about how you were going to live your lives. You had many goals. You had many challenges and many desires. But now, 10 years later, you are fully accomplished. You became an incredibly effective and a successful person. You are happy and you are fulfilled. And you are that fully grown <laughs> Let's go back again to that day when you were sitting right here in 2016. From that day until today, 2026, what are the decisions that you make, the key decisions that you have made that have got you all this success? What are your major accomplishments in these 10 years period? Think about it. You see, ladies and gentlemen, when we take our brain in a journey and envision our future self, our left brain is immediately activated and that would automatically push in creative thoughts that makes us creative. Now, once we have those thoughts, isn't it easy to go to where we want to go? 
Well, when you have those creative thoughts and you have your end vision, that would alter your vibration and influence your behavior to make you in command of your life. Again, your potential is infinite. And you have the right to imagine whatever you want to imagine about your future. You have the responsibility to live the life that you want. You and I are together in this world and you and I are gifted, powerful brains that can take us anywhere that we can imagine. Now, knowing that your potential is infinite, and I know, even though that I don't know you personally, but I know that everyone here has greatness within them. So what I want you to do is right now, use your potential and use your greatness and act upon them to write the history of your future. Ladies and gentlemen, this was a thought worth spreading. Thank you very much.